we want to evaluate the following expression. The directions may also say simplify. Notice that we have multiplication and subtraction, so we'll have to follow the order of operations, which I've given here below in red. Notice there are no parentheses or exponents, so step three is to multiply and divide before we add or subtract, which means we must determine this product and this product before we subtract. Well, negative nine times positive six is negative 54, and positive four times positive seven is 28. At this point, if you're comfortable leaving this as subtraction, you can, but we can also rewrite this as an addition problem. Subtracting a positive 28 is the same as adding a negative 28. So we could write this as negative 54 plus negative 28 and then follow the rules for adding integers. Notice how the integers have the same sign, so we'll add their absolute values and keep the original sign. So the sum will be negative, and then we'll sum their absolute values, 54 plus 28. Again, we're adding their absolute values because, because we're summing integers that have the same sign. So we have 12, carry the one. So the sum will be negative 82. Let's take a look at another example. Again, we want to evaluate or simplify this expression, so we will have to follow the order of operations. So the first step is to simplify inside the parentheses, which means we have to determine this sum inside the parentheses and this difference inside the parentheses. And again, if we need to, we can rewrite this as negative four plus negative two to help us determine the difference. So we're gonna have six times negative five plus eight. Notice how the eight is going to outweigh the negative five, so the sum is positive. And then because the integers have different signs, we'll subtract their absolute values. So the sum is gonna be positive three plus eight times, viewing this as negative four plus negative two. These integers have the same sign, so we'll add their absolute values and then keep the sum negative. So that'll give us a sum of negative six. Next, we can skip step two because there are no exponents. So step three will be to multiply and divide. So we'll determine this product and this product before we add. So positive six times positive three is 18. And positive eight times negative six is negative 48. So now we have one more sum to determine. And again, notice how these integers have different signs. So we'll subtract their absolute values, and then notice how the negative 48 is gonna outweigh the positive 18. So the sum is going to be negative, and now we'll subtract their absolute values, and we'll subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So this would be 30, but we know our sum has to be negative, so the sum is negative 30. We'll be looking at several more examples in the next section of using the order of operations to simplify expressions involving integers. I hope this was helpful.